Hello, this is Brennan, and welcome to Musings of the Mind. Before I get started, I'm talking about a biological little subject here, so I'm not a doctor. Doctor, don't take anything I'm saying as medical advice. Make sure you you check with your doctor before adding or subtracting anything from your behavioral patterns or your diet. I, and I say this not just to protect me, but to also protect you. There are some there there are a lot of legitimate reasons why one person might want to add one thing to their diet or do certain behaviors and other people not not others. So always make sure you check with your doctor before adding or subtract, before doing anything health wise. Having said that, we're gonna talk about the Wim Hof method, method and Tumo meditation. So two things I've heavily studied and I was really thinking about this. So let's look at diet for a moment. Time restricted eating, otherwise known as intermittent fasting. Fasting has been demonstrated to do all sorts of positive things for people's health in in scientific literature. It extends lifespan and it improves insulin resistance. There are all these good things because what happens is by restricting not the 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 time period to which you you eat, it forces the body to 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 use calories and use energy and overall building materials, materials like fats, nutrients, vitamins, etc in a more efficient, strategic manner as opposed to guzzling out potato chips all the time where the body can be really inefficient and half-assed things and still have plenty of, pl plenty of resources. By consuming, consuming by, 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 consume, by intermittent fasting, as in what otherwise known as time-restricted eating, that forces the body to be strategic about what it does, which forces your body to be better at a cellular level. That's how that works. Now with the Wim Hof technique, what is he doing? Well, so he's so he's hyperventilating, so he's getting plenty of oxygen into the body. He's not starving himself of oxygen, and he holds his breath for a particular period of time. This is, I, I would call this more scientific, this more scientifically, ifically, this is time-restricted breathing. It forces the body to use oxygen more efficiently in a more strategic manner. Cause it, cause he, he'll, he'll hyperventilate, he'll hold his breath for a few minutes, and he'll hyperventilate some more, then he'll hold his breath for a few minutes, then he'll, then he'll, then he'll hyperventilate some more. So it's not that he's not get, it's not that he's getting less oxygen. It's that, that he is that he's forcing the body to use it in more of a strategic manner. Now I'm gonna bring your attention to Tibetan Tumo meditation, which is a similar practice, but with a focus of visualization, where you visualize your whole body as a balloon, and for this to work, Eric, you you have to really see yourself, your body as a hollow balloon. There's a center of energy in the center of your chest and every time you breathe out, it's causing that energy to get more and more, or more and more hotter and more and more radiant. And what this does is a similar thing, is time-restricted breathing. But what's been demonstrated very interestingly is when Dr. Herbert Benson, to whom was a, I, I think still is a, a professor of biology, the head dean of, of the biology department at Harvard Medical School, he went over to Tibet and what he noticed is not only were these people able to, using their conscious mind, raise their body temperature, temperature, but they did it when measuring the amount of oxygen they consumed, they consumed two thirds less oxygen, which is the lowest amount of oxygen ever measured for a normal person when they're doing regular activity, when they're like not in a deep coma. So, um, and yet they were able to consciously raise, raise their body temperature. And what I would argue is happening biologically here is by time-restricted breathing, they're forcing the body to use oxygen in a far more efficient, far more effective way than it does normally by restricting its, a, not necessarily the amount of it, but the amount of time the body has access to it so the body can't be lazy. Now going back to time-restricted eating, which is intermittent fasting does a similar thing, but, but with calories. It forces the body to use calories in a more efficient, more effective way. It forces your body to go into autophagy, break down old tissue. It forces your body to be better. Same thing with time-restricted breathing, like with Tumo meditation or Wim Hof's method. Same thing, time-restricted breathing forces the body to be a lot more efficient. Now again, don't take what I'm saying as medical advice. I'm not telling you to do anything. And speak to your doctor before doing anything. There's a lot of legitimate reasons why you might not want to do this. This, so speak with your doctor. Make sure a, before you add or subtract anything. 
I'm not a doctor, don't take what I'm saying as medical advice. I'm simply explaining the logic here of how of, of, uh, of my hypothesis. Having said that, I, I think I've concluded what I want to say here. Have a great rest of your day. Please comment and subscribe and tell me what you want to see. Yeah, I'm trying to like what 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 topics you, you want me to speak about. I'm trying to expand the TikTok a bit. It and when I'm done fully comprehending that, I think I'm gonna make myself a comprehensive like ad masterclass or something. So stay tuned for that. See you later. Bye.